Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Jay the Comedian. How y'all doing out there? So, a lot of people always tell me, like, there's no way that I was living the life I was living and I didn't believe in Jehovah. You know what I'm saying? I could have believed in Jehovah while living that life. And that's that couldn't be further from the truth. I believed in Jehovah. I just had my own thoughts about him, you know? Like, it's a lot of times I really had to thank Jehovah for what he did for me. You know what I'm saying? Now, it wouldn't be anything that... <laughs> Uh, the Jehovah Jehovah Witnesses believe would have done like okay for example here are the stories in which I actually had to thank Jehovah one time I think I told you this story before I was with a girl and we were about to bang and I ain't had no condom and then miraculously I miraculously miraculously I checked my pocket and there was a condom in there it was a condom that I bought and I forgot that I had but I it was in there so I said thank you Jehovah and I really meant that because I'm like, okay, only the, only through the grace of God could there have been a condom in my pocket. <laughs> and then another time, I was on the west side of Chicago, the west suburbs, like far out, right? I drove from the west suburbs all the way home to the south side of Chicago, drunk as hell. How drunk, you ask? Well, let me paint the picture. I don't remember half of the trip. Don't remember it at all. Even to this day, I don't remember all I do remember is waking up in my bed, fully clothed, with vomit all over my pillow, in the side of my face. And also, I looked outside of the window, and my car, let's say the street was like this, my car is parked like this. Somehow, I made it home without getting pulled over by the police, and I also didn't even get a ticket for parking fucked up. So I said, thank you, Jehovah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Because only through your grace, I made it home safely that night. Another story, which is probably the most impressive to me. I was with this chick, right? In my car, in front of her crib. Her parents are in this crib. Both devout Jehovah Witnesses, right? And I'm in this car with their daughter, and I am banging their daughter a lot, right? Knock at my window. Do, 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 do. I just knew it was her daddy. I just knew it. I'm like, yep, that's her daddy. Worse, the police. Uh, roll the window down. Hi, officer. How can I help you? Yes, uh, female officer. Female officer tells me uh, you can't park on the street after 1 a.m. You're going to have to take this party to the driveway. Her exact words. I'm like, okay, officer. <laughs> we went to the driveway and... Uh, I, I didn't want to press my luck. I got the hell up out of there. But yeah, that actually happened. I said, thank you, Jehovah. Because only through your grace did I end, not end up in jail. And I, and you kept her parents sleep long enough for me to get the hell up out of Dodge. <laughs> oh, man. And, and, and another story. This is my last story, right? I was with this girl. Well, I'm going to go back a little further. I was with my friend, my homeboy, my dude. And we both smoked and drink that night. So I was high and drunk. High and drunk this night, right? <laughs> I think my car was like, it was getting, it was in a shop or something like that. Like, cause I wasn't driving this night or whatever. I think my engine went down and I wasn't in my car. But somehow I wake up in my bed, in my apartment, with a woman who I've never seen before in my life. Ever. And she was ugly too. I mean, ugly. She had a big booty, but she was ugly. And you know, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to the ladies or nothing. Because she 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 actually turned out to be a very nice person. But I was scared as hell. Because I absolutely had sex with her with no form of contraception at all. And I was scared as hell. I went to the doctor the very next weekend. I'm like, doctor, I need you to check for everything. AIDS, herpes, gonorrhea, chlamydia, fucking cancer, the flu, all that shit. And um, and yeah, man, f fortunately for me, I came back almost 100% clean. The bitch gave me the flu. <laughs> But other than that, I was clean as a whistle, baby. I got a number, too. I don't care she was ugly. She had a big booty. Anyway, uh, these are some real stories. 
And these stories, I thank Jehovah. I'm like, wow, you really could have gave me AIDS or some shit the way I've been living. But Jehovah didn't do it. So thank you, Jehovah. And that's how I felt. Like, I really believed the religion and, like, the God and all that stuff. But I also was just kind of like, Jehovah's probably cool as ever. Like, he probably ain't this evil person that's, like, really vindictive and horrible and treat people bad. He probably ain't even like that. He probably cool as hell. And I think he was. <laughs> well, I thought he was. Now I don't believe in God at all. But when I did believe, that's what I thought it was going to be. Anyway, it's your boy, Jay the Comedian. I hope you like these little stupid stories I have. Holla to Guala. Deuces.